In today's show, the Terra Luna Foundation Guard outdoes MicroStrategy with 5,000 Bitcoin buy after the Bitcoin price dip under $45,000. As Duquan announces here, today I watered my plants, wrote some emails, bought $230 million in BTC, vacuumed the house, had some McDonald's, now off to walk the dog. And as shared here by the on-chain college, the number of addresses with at least one Bitcoin has made a new all-time high of 833,242 addresses. This metric has been rapidly increasing since the beginning of February 2022. And quoting Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, the next president of the United States has to be a pro-Bitcoin candidate. I agree. And speaking of Miami, the Bitcoin 2022 conference is going down, kicking off today. Right when I walk through the airport, you can see all the crypto ads, which you can see right here. Exciting times. I hope to see you here. Also in today's show, Bitcoin transaction fees hit decade lows. I'll be explaining why, as pointed out here by Alex Thorne. Bitcoin fees at all-time lows. The craziest thing, fall of 2021 was the first bull run, not accompanied by a major spike in fees. Also in today's show, I'll be sharing three reasons why the Ethereum price can hit $4,000 this month in April, and as shared here by Cactus ETH, I think we drive towards $4,000 soon, as long as the price action remains above this support at $3,400. Also in today's show, ARK Invest's Kathy Wood says Bitcoin part of wave of disruptive innovation and compares Bitcoin to Tesla and Amazon. Quoting her right here, when we first gained exposure to Bitcoin in 2015, many observers basically dismissed our investment as, well, that's a marketing gimmick from this new firm that's trying to find a way onto the map. And of course, I think that was at a $6 billion market cap or network value. Today, it's nearly $1 trillion. That was 2015 to now. Seven years, it's $1 trillion from $6 billion to $1 trillion. And remember, people are calling it a Ponzi scheme. We had to suffer the arrows associated with that kind of criticism. We'll also be discussing her $7,000 Bitcoin price prediction and taking a look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, the entire market is currently correcting and in the red. But where's the Bitcoin price likely to go next? Find out all this plus so much more in today's show. Here at the News Alerts, I drop a brand new episode every single day. The goal is to get to 100,000 subs along with $100,000 Bitcoin price. If you like getting that crypto, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day just like this today's episode is brought to you by ftx us built by traders for traders that's right ftx us is the best way to buy and sell bitcoin ethereum solana as well as other digital assets and did you know you can trade crypto with up to 85 percent lower fees than its top competitors that's right there are no fixed minimum fees no ach transaction fees and no withdrawal fees also note that ftx is the only leading exchange that supports both ethereum and and Solana NFTs and there are no gas fees and you might have heard of them from their Super Bowl commercial with Larry David or their partnership with Stephen Curry and Tom Brady that's because the world's biggest names trust FTX and they have a special promo they're running right now where if you download the FTX app today and use my promo code crypto news you can earn free crypto in every trade over ten dollars truly making this a no-brainer and the more you trade the more you earn so go ahead and download the FTX app today by clicking the link in the description right down below use my referral Referral code crypto news and let's start stacking those sats shall we all right welcome back to another episode of crypto news alerts i'm your host jv i'm actually downtown in miami at the bitcoin 2022 conference in miami which is actually kicking off today exciting times now terra the blockchain outfit using bitcoin to back its new united states stablecoin ust has bought over 5,000 btc new data confirms that on april 6 terra added an additional 5,040 btc to be exact to its balance now totaling to 35,768 bitcoin like whoa the move comes after a multi-day lull in buying activity by the blockchain protocol this week co-founder du kwan nonetheless told his twitter followers that the scheme was just getting started while a mainstream media interview set out plans for perpetual Bitcoin buys. Terra Kwan explained, wants to build a decentralized Forex reserve with Bitcoin as collateral. The stablecoin Terra USD, better known as UST, will have both Bitcoin and Terra's native Luna token as its backing. And this will be the first stablecoin to be backed by the King Crypto. So much respect to them. Initially planned to include $3 billion of Bitcoin reserves. That number will expand to $10 billion, Kwan said last month, with additional BTC purchases after that, depending on how much UST is minted. And as he shares here on crypto Twitter, Today, I watered my plants, wrote some emails, bought $230 million in Bitcoin, vacuumed the house, had some McDonald's, now off to walk the dog. Much respect 
to do Quan. Now, the nonprofit organization attached to Terra, the Luna Foundation Guard, is the entity attached to the Bitcoin wallet involved in collateralizing UST. The latest addition means that it remains the 29th largest Bitcoin wallet at this time. And while Quan told the media that such large buy ins were not a corporate treasury decision, the Luna Foundation Guard wallet balance is already on the way to competing with the largest treasury, MicroStrategy. The latter also added to its Bitcoin reserves this week, buying around 4,000 coins for a total of 129,280. 18 BTC. For comparison, should Luna complete the remainder of its $10 billion allocations at the current Bitcoin spot price, around 45000 it would be able to purchase approximately another 184800 BTC, becoming the largest Bitcoin whale in the world. Now for some Bitcoin price action. After failing to crack the 200-day moving average near 48000 Bitcoin dipped overnight to also threaten a loss of the newly breached yearly opening price of 46200 according to data from Cointelegraph Markets Pro. Now such a loss could mean the return of the trading range in which it lingered throughout 2022 until last week's breakout. Nonetheless, reactions to Quan remain positive. As shared here on crypto Twitter, Luna Stable Quan just added about 4,000 BTC to stack. This will eventually have the effect of a halving. Let's freaking go. And as pointed out here, the number of addresses with at least one Bitcoin has made an all-time high at 833,242 addresses. This metric has been rapidly increasing since the beginning of February 2022. And quoting Miami Mayor Francis Suarez, the next president of the United States has to be a pro-Bitcoin candidate. Bring it. Also, welcome to Miami, where fortune favors the brave. I actually got here last night. And as soon as you get to the airport, you can see all the massive advertisements. And it's actually kicking off the first day of the event today. So if you're in Miami, let me know. And who knows, maybe we can link up. And before I break down next story of the day, Bitcoin transaction fees hit decade lows. And I explain why. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market. As you can see, Bitcoin, Ether, and all the major alts are currently correcting. And in the red, with Bitcoin down 4% for the day, trading at around that $44,000 mark. We have Ether down. 6% trading at $3,245. We have Luna down 7.5% trading just under $108. While Solana, Polkadot, Avalanche, Binance Coin, Cardano are all correcting and in the red. But all right, now let's break down our next story of the day. It's a great time to move Bitcoin between wallets to exchanges. Bitcoin transaction fees have hit all-time lows in BTC, according to research by Galaxy Digital. As pointed out here by Alex Thorne, Bitcoin fees are at all-time lows. The craziest thing, fall of 2021, was the first bull run not accompanied by a major spike in fees. How is this possible? What does it mean? Well, let's discuss it. As shown here in this chart, the Bitcoin mean transaction fee has plummeted to $2.06 in 2022, while the median Bitcoin fee of 59 cents, which is its lowest of any year except 2011, according to the report. And according to Alex Thorne, head of firm-wide research at Galaxy Digital, a combination of growing SegWit adoption, batching transactions, and the growth in the Lightning Network, as well as the collapse in minor selling and the reduced OP return usage has caused a drop in fees not seen for over a decade. Now, lead on-chain analyst at Glassnode, James Check, agreed with Thorne, explaining to Cointelegraph that batching and SegWit are certainly part of the mix because of the combination will increase the number of transactions that fit in a block and thus increase throughout the decrease fee pressure. He also shared the following graph to show that SegWit adoption increased significantly at the May-July lows, which you can see right here. Nonetheless, check continues. This is not the whole story. The number one reason I believe fees are low is we had a 50% collapse in price in May, which absolutely decimated retail interest. He suggests that all three collapsed after the May sell-off. And quoting him here, this, in my view, was the likely commencing of a bear market. And even with a price run-up, we saw a great many people financially burned and thus out of the market. And also, we have Eric Yakes, the author of Seven Property, Bitcoin and the Monetary Revolution. He shared, we're witnessing a structural change in the market dynamics and historical correlations maintain little value. And regarding the future of the network, the $70 million raised by Lightning Labs to build a stablecoin and asset protocol is a key development for the Bitcoin protocol. He added, it's important for transaction fees to trend lower as they are the primary limitation to scaling a network in a decentralized manner, ultimately meaning while transaction fees are a boon for wallet admin and opening Lightning channels, it could be a sign that retail interest has dried up. For check, look no further than yay old Google Trends to see just how popular the orange coin is right now, suggesting there is near zero zero inflow of new users. As he shares here, Bitcoin needs the Lightning Network to continue its pace of growth and a thriving network of smart contract development to emerge. So there you have it. And before I break down next story of the day, and I share with you the three reasons why Ethereum price can hit $4,000 this month in April. But first, let's take a quick look at the overall crypto market cap. Sitting just above $2 trillion, 
dollars, about 121 billion in volume. In the past 24 hours, the current Bitcoin dominance is 41.4 percent, with the Ether dominance at 19.3 percent. And checking out the top gainers within the top 100 within the past 24 hours, we have GMT up almost 20 percent, trading at two dollars and 67 cents, followed by Dogecoin up a half a percent, trading just above 15 cents. And as you can see, it's just really a sea of red, so virtually nothing is pumping and in the green. And checking out the top 100 cryptocurrency gainers for the week, it's mostly back in the red with a handful in the green and checking out one of my favorite indicators it's the crypto greed and fear index shows we're currently rated a 48 out of 100 which is neutral yesterday a 53 last week a 55 and last month a 23 in extreme fear and if you're not familiar with the crypto greed and fear index extreme fear can be a sign investors are too worried that can be a great buying opportunity aka btfd buy that freaking dip and when investors are getting too greedy that means the market is due for a correction, I want to give a quick shout out to iTrust Capital, the world's largest crypto IRA platform with over three and a half billion dollars in transactions. If you're looking to trade crypto tax free, look no further than iTrust. And yes, they are backed by the world's leading institutional cold storage provider, Coinbase Custody, with a three hundred and twenty million dollar insurance policy. So go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below to take advantage of the number one crypto IRA provider in America. And if you sign up today, you're going to receive a hundred dollar funding reward as a free bonus so go ahead and use my referral link in the description right down below and let's start stacking those sats tax-free but all right now let's break down our next story of the day three market catalysts suggest that ethereum's native token ether is well positioned to reach four thousand dollars this month internet users interest in ethereum's upcoming network upgrade dubbed the merge surged substantially in the week ending april 2nd google trends data shows searches for the keyword ethereum merge reached a perfect google trend score of 100 on a 12-month time frame with most traffic coming from the us singapore canada and australia now merge also called eth 2.0 refers to the ethereum network's full transition to proof of stake from proof of work a development that has been touted as one of the major catalysts behind ether's rebound from 2500 on March 14th to over 3,500 this week. The bullish outlook stems from Merge's proposal to reduce Ethereum's issuance rate, leading to a possible supply peak in the total number of ETH in circulation. With proof-of-work mining, Ethereum supply has grown by 3% every year. Now check out this chart, total value staked in Ethereum 2.0, been going parabolic. The spike in public interest for Ethereum Merge suggests there is a growing buzz among crypto investors and traders as the Ethereum upgrade nears. And as shared here by Cactus, ETH, I think we see a drive towards 4,000 soon. As long as price action remains above the support at 3,400, likely a healthy retrace after a test of 4,000, then into an aggressive move to new all-time highs for Merge. Send it. Let's freaking go. And at the same time, the ETH supply downtrend on crypto exchanges continues. Notably, net Ether reserves across all exchanges have dropped to their lowest levels since August of 2018, suggesting that traders have been withdrawing ETH in mass to hold them for long term or to stake them across DeFi liquidity pools. What's more, the number of addresses with a non-zero balance continues to rise, suggesting growing adoption and distribution of Ethereum. Now check out this chart, the Ethereum number of addresses with a non-zero balance also Going parabolic, chances of ETH prices reaching $4,000 in April are also boosted by a classic technical pattern. Let's discuss it. Dubbed symmetrical triangle, the pattern usually forms when the price consolidates sideways inside a range defined by a lowering upper trend line and a rising lower trend line following a sharp move upside or downside. And in an ideal scenario, the triangle resolves after the price breaks in the direction of its previous trend and thus is considered a continuation pattern. However, a symmetrical triangle breakout does not necessarily result in a continuation trend. For instance, in the book Technical Analysis of Stock Trends, technical analysts Robert Edwards and John McGee note that about 25% of all symmetrical triangle breakouts lead to reversals. An example, the price does not break in the direction of its previous trend, thus defying anticipations. Now, Ethereum's current breakout appears to be a reversal as it bounces to the upside instead of continuing its previous trend to the downside as shown right here in this chart. Also keep in mind a symmetrical triangle's potential breakout target is calculated after measuring the maximum length between the pattern's upper and lower trend line and then adding the result of its breakout point. This puts Ethereum's bullish target at nearly $4,000. Let me know if you feel the Ether price will likely reach $4,000 before the end of the month. Holla at your boy in the comments right down below. And before I break down final story of the day, ARK Invest's Kathy Wood says Bitcoin is part of a wave of disruptive innovation and compares Bitcoin to Tesla and Amazon, as well as I cover her $7,000 Bitcoin price target. But first, I want to remind you to smash that show more button right below this video in the description for a detailed analysis of what's going on in the crypto market. This goes for all 1,100 plus videos right here on my YouTube channel. Also, some very helpful 
resources for you to plug into, including my crypto merch store, now live at merch.cryptonewsalerts.net. Also, be sure to smash that subscribe button and ring that bell to turn on all notifications to receive daily premium crypto news alerts every single day, just like this. You can also follow me on all the major podcasts and platforms from Spotify to Apple's iTunes. And if you're listening to the pod, be sure to check out the YouTube channel at cryptonewsalerts.net for the full premium experience with video. And of course, you can follow me on crypto Twitter, Facebook, Telegram, and TikTok. So wherever you're at, be sure to plug in and follow me there. But all right, now let's break down our final story of the day. ARK Invest founder Kathy Wood says she views Bitcoin as a disruptive innovation in line with corporate giants like Amazon, Apple, and Tesla in a new YouTube video, Wood explains how recent history shows that disruptive tech eventually explodes in market capitalization despite doubts from investors quoting her here. I can't tell you how many times the sell side and the buy side said, this thing's going bankrupt. This is a figment of Jeff Bezos's imagination, of Wall Street's imagination. Now Amazon has a $1.6 trillion economy. It's the same with Apple. Nobody thought Apple would win against Nokia, Motorola, and Ericsson. How could they? Apple had no market share. Apple redefined the cell phone and smartphone would also highlight that investors were also less than optimistic about the growth prospects of electric vehicle maker, Tesla, she shares here, and even Tesla more recently, 2019, Tesla was not going to be able to scale its manufacturing. It was going to run out of money. The large auto manufacturers were going to run circles around it. What do you know? It's up 20-fold. Since then, she makes a great point. And as for Bitcoin, she highlights how her own investment management firm had to reckon with doubters when they first bought the King Crypto, quitting her here. When we first gained exposure to Bitcoin in 2015, many observers basically dismiss our investment as, well, that's a marketing gimmick from this new firm that's trying to find a way onto the map. And of course, I think that was at a $6 billion market cap or network value. Today is nearly $1 trillion. That was 2015 to now. Seven years, it's $1 trillion from $6 billion to $1 trillion. And remember, people were calling it a Ponzi scheme. We had to suffer the arrows associated with that kind of criticism. Now let's discuss Kathy Wood's $700,000 Bitcoin price prediction. When she did an interview with Saxo Bank CIO, Steen Jacobson, she goes on to share she combined her estimate of institutional investing, adding $500,000 to the Bitcoin price with the impact of greater adoption in emerging markets. Wood gave a rationale for why institutions will be compelled to invest into the king crypto, calling it a new asset class. Wood said that Bitcoin's lower correlation with other investments was very appealing to institutional investors. That's what they are looking for, she said. Then she moved on to the emerging markets idea that was described in the ARC report, quoting her here. What's happening in El Salvador is unbelievable, Wood said, noting how President Nayib Bokele has made Bitcoin legal tender and is providing $30 worth of cryptocurrency to any citizen who downloads the Shibo digital wallet. Wood said that ARC sees remittances as one element, one with along those mentioned in the report that will encourage significant adoption of Bitcoin in emerging markets. Quoting her here, we think emerging markets are a huge use case here. That use case alone will account for one hundred dollars to $200,000 of an increase in the price of Bitcoin. Now let's run the math. At the time of this prediction by Kathy Wood, Bitcoin was trading at around $60,000 and Wood sees institutional investors adding $500,000 to that and emerging market adoption adding an additional one hundred dollars to 200000 more. So Wood's five-year Bitcoin price target is actually a range between six hundred and sixty dollars and $760,000 with $700,000 falling just below the middle of the range. So there you have it. What are your thoughts surrounding Kathy Wood's $700,000 Bitcoin price prediction? Let me know your thoughts in the comments right down below. Now for a quick recap, what I cover with you here in today's show, Terra's Luna Foundation Guard outdoes MicroStrategy with 5,000 Bitcoin buy after the Bitcoin price dips under $45,000. Also in today's show, I shared that the Bitcoin transaction fees hit decade lows, and I explain why, as well as the three reasons why Ethereum price can hit $4,000 this month in April, as well as ARK Invest's Kathy Wood says Bitcoin part of wave of disruptive innovation, comparing Bitcoin to Tesla and Amazon, and also shared her $700,000 Bitcoin price prediction. Where do you feel the Bitcoin price is likely to go next? Let me know in the comments right down below. Now for the top three comments from yesterday's episode, Luigi Mario wrote, great show as always, JV. I'll be attending the Bitcoin conference in Miami on Thursday. I hope to see you there. I'll buy you a drink for all your hard work. Cheers. That's what's up, fam. I'm in Miami right now. See you at the conference, bro. Holla. Our next featured comment comes from Peter Davies who wrote, I'm very pleased and agree with Nicholas Merton's prediction. Everything crossed. That's what's up, Peter. $200,000 Bitcoin price. Let's freaking go. And our third and final featured comment comes from Buddha Rob, who wrote, Keep it up, brother JV. We got our bags packed and sitting on the launch pad. I think I hear them starting the countdown. See you on the trip out of the solar system. Bitcoin to the moon. You already know, fam. Let's go. And to be featured on tomorrow's episode, drop me a comment right down below.